Yo, what up, it's Dark. Simi Lee here. So, brothers, what up, though? Alright, so this is kind of gonna be like a rant slash don't get these shoes if you want durable shoes. Mm -hmm. So, durability. I mean, it's not super important, especially if you're just only playing indoors. Or you have the money. Or you have the money, but like... Uh, it would if it's like uh, on the level of being kind of like a defect, then it is an issue. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, there are a couple shoes that are very not durable. You know, and I've, I've had like a lot of you guys send me pictures of your shoes screwing up and you know getting messed up. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of them. You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. What what do you think? Like. I, do you think Nike's purposely doing this? You know, like, cause like a, a lot of the issues come from like the glue work or like the outsole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think what you're referring to is planned obsolescence. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Cause like they're making like I, I don't know if they're purposely doing it, but a lot of their most of their shoes nowadays have really soft nub-like thin yeah. line tractions. You know, and those rip off. Those aren't very durable. And if you compare it from like a long time ago with the like really hard type of herringbone or something like that and the original hyperdunks you know older kobe's lebron's those are very durable yeah. you know and uh nowadays it's not like that you know so I it know. doesn't really make any sense like you know if it's not broke don't fix it like why do you have to do some crazy weird pattern with a translucent outsole like right like and uh, there's tractions that are a one on dust stopping power bite uh and crazy durable yeah exactly. for outdoor use indoor exactly. use whatever they exist there's, ton, there's a ton of them exactly and like why not just emulate that in almost all your shoes yeah so okay so let, let's get it start off with uh, you guys already know it's a curry six and um, they did release that colorway. It's like an orange, I think, I, I forgot what it's called, like Roracle or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to DG Hoops, but he actually went to, to the store. And shout out to like a few of you as well that actually went to the store and saw the actual Curry 6 outsole. And then the, the actual outsole is like a green, like a, like a highlighted green colorway. It's a one piece outsole in the forefoot. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, like, I mean, do I have to try it out? I mean, obviously, because it is a one-piece out, so it's not going to have a durability issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, every single other colorway has had that little cutout on the forefoot, and I've had so many, so many people send me pictures of their Curry 6 just not holding up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I've had two of my Curry 6s uh, have that same problem. Yeah. So, uh, I just, like, don't even play my Curry 6, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though I really like the, the shoe performance-wise. So, um, yeah. I mean, I, I think they should have tested it a little bit more because, like, that happened to a lot of people. And within, like, the first few days, it happened to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't know how that passed, like, test inspection or whatever. If you want to avoid, like, a catastrophic outsole, like, ripping off failure, then don't get that. But, I guess, get the Roracle colorway. You know, I, I think a few of the other colorways that are coming out, they, they're making that one piece outsole as well, which is good. Mm -hmm. like, right, like, do, 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 I think people are more so happy that they made it other than that. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, yeah, I mean, you know, they would probably never admit that that's what they're doing, why they're doing that. Maybe they're just like, oh, it's just the colorway, so we're just switching up. The, yeah, but it's like, obviously yeah. you know, you know. So there's the Curry 6. Uh, moving on to the next one is the 0 0.2. So the 0 0.2 was not as bad, but I, f I feel like it takes a little bit longer for this to happen. But like, it hasn't happened to me, but I haven't really been hooping in my 0 0.2s because I just like hooping in my PG3s, the Hardings, mm -hmm. you know, like my other shoes. So um, yeah, it hasn't happened to me, but I've had a lot of you guys send pictures of the, your 0 0.2, like ripping in the same exact spot where the actual zoom unit is. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of you guys, you know? So we, were, we already talked about this, but a lot of people were like, oh, I didn't think it was gonna happen to me, but it happened to me and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I don't really think it affects performance as much because like the outsole isn't like actually peeling off. It's just more like there's a little bit of rip off in it, yeah. I guess. But like still, it, it sucks, you know? And uh, yeah, it's 125 bucks. I mean, Nike's and Jordan's return policy is great. Uh, if it does have a defect, I think you have it within a year to return it. 
Wow. You know, so I'm not 100% sure about Under Armour, but Nike and Jordan. Just keep your receipt. Really, yeah, keep your receipt, exactly. Uh, next shoe is the KD12, and this is definitely not as prevalent, but it happened to me, and it happened to, I think, like two or three other people. You, uh, like, they sent pictures, and uh, I, I forgot to send it, uh, screenshot it. So I'm sorry, I don't really have um, the pictures, but the actual outsole in the toe was peeling off. Mm. And it, to me, it happened like it, a little bit, like half an inch to an inch was like peeling off. It wasn't a huge deal. It wasn't like affecting the traction at all, but like it's gonna peel off. And obviously if I keep playing in it, it's gonna peel off more, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I had to return mine and I don't have a pair of KD12s, which is very sad because I love playing in that shoe. And I've had a, like two or three of you guys send over the same exact problem happening to you guys. So yeah. uh, I guess watch out for that. And also the K12 isn't like as old as the 0 0.2 in the Curry 6. So we may see more of uh, this happening to more people. So uh, yeah, those are the three shoes that have that, that like defect. I don't know if it's a defect, but like durability issues. Yeah. And if you guys don't want to deal with that at all, you should probably avoid any getting any of these shoes. But like, the, the, like I said, the Nike, the 0 0.2 and then the Nike KD12 have great return policy, so you should be okay within the year, I think. They, they need to make more durable shoes, I feel like. You know, take it back yeah. up to the old school, to the old days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a head, heads up, you know, and watch out for you guys. But anyways, hope he helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.